trust no one, not even yourself, right? Yeah, right. Right. Exactly. I trust that though. Yeah. Hey, you have a good one, sir. You too, man. Ah. Neil, I'm right there. <laughs> For me, a man's not gonna leave me, period. We're gonna be partners. I also don't want a man that's trying to dominate, control, tell me what to do, not listen to my opinion or my thoughts or consider what I have to say. I want somebody who's gonna be a partner. This is what I'm saying. With your thinking, you actually disqualify yourself from meeting masculine men because just you using words I mean, like partnership and things like that. What you speak, you thought before you spoke it, right? right? So what is a partnership? A partnership is different from a companionship. A partnership is different from a marriage. That's why you left your marriage because you wanted a partnership. Because what you think, you are going to speak. And when you speak, you are going to act on those things too. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you think that a relationship is a partnership is the fact that you left your husband. She obviously wants to be in full control. So basically she wants to be the man, but without any of the men's responsibilities. Someone said <laughs> she wants a wife. Fuck it, what's your body count? I don't know, but it's about 30. You don't know? I don't know, it's about 30. I stopped counting. Are you like in the whole phase or? No, I was in the whole phase in high school. And then like after that, I guess, yeah, I'm in a whole phase now. But well, like not really. How I'm old like, are you now? 21. Dang, girl. You barely graduated high school. I moved out when I was like 16, so. When did you when did you start experience like sex? Like sex? Um, 15, 16. 15? Damn. Yeah. That's not that bad. Like compared to bitches nowadays, that shit's not that bad. Like be so fucking for real. Now what's too much of a high body count? None. None? None. No, if you're a bitch and you fuck, fuck it. If you're a dude and you fuck, fuck it. You just know how to have fun and be satisfied. So Do you think you're loose? Oh hell no! I know I'm not. Why not? Huh? How do you How do you know? Um, I heard literally like same day that I'm not. So like a couple hours ago. Um, oh, you got some a couple hours ago? We ain't gonna talk about it, but like yeah. Well, hey, if you got some a couple hours ago, what are the chances that I can get some? I'm from around the way. I'm leaving with some. <laughs> you? How tall are you? Whatever how you want me to be. Well, how near you? Like, you catch me when I'm like, not fucking nobody. Which, it will be very soon. So, wait, that sounds like advertising. Very good. <laughs> that sounds like free advertising. It's not, but I am gonna be like for real, for real single very soon. So, you're married, that's, that's right? Yeah, not for Andrew. Yeah, I'm married. Okay, so how long have you been married for? Over a decade. Okay, so what if you found out something from like 25 years ago that you didn't agree with? Would you immediately divorce her? Depends on the severity. Mm -hmm. If I found out that she was an OnlyFans girl or something <laughs> like this, yeah, it would be an instant 25 divorce. 25 years before and like before she met you? I'm just, I'm just asking. Yes. Okay. She's describing their strategy to have unlimited sex but lie about it and don't get caught. That's what they can't accept though because <laughs> He's saying what they don't want to hear. They want to basically hear that they can do what they want and there'll be no repercussions for it. I don't think you can be sexist towards men and I don't think you can be racist towards white people. How have you arrived at that conclusion? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know, just hearing like all the stories about like all this messed up stuff they did in the past. Like, I'm not even yeah. black, but I have a grudge against them. Are you referring to slavery? Yeah, and just like the treatment of them over time since then, like all the discrimination. Do you think that uh, white people were the only ones who engaged in slavery? So wait, are you trying to like say that like white people were slaves too? Yeah, white people were also slaves. That's where the term slave comes from, is the Slavic region. Exactly. Eastern Europeans are so oppressed even within Europe. I don't know, but I didn't see them oppressed over here that much. Like, didn't, I don't know. In history, I don't, I don't see books talking about the oppression of white people. Yeah, that's, Why that's, do you think that's that a problem. Is? <laughs> All right, let's get into the main part of the video. So this girl here is an OnlyFans model and she's basically been exposed. Not only has she tried to set this guy up and ruin his life, she's made profit off it or tried to make money off it. And in doing so has broken multiple laws along the way. But basically she went up to this guy who works in Target and she filmed the whole interaction. And he said that she was trying to basically thirst trap this dude. And then she filmed the whole thing. <laughs> 
put it online and tried to make him look like a pervert and then she put it on OnlyFans and I think she's put a four dollar charge to get the full uncensored version of it so let's check it out so a couple of months ago I was at work doing my job you know do, giving out excellent customer service per me and and this girl walks up and she's I tell me she's a speaker but she the way she's talking is very like it's different. She's being very inappropriate with me. She's talking like this and it just makes me uncomfortable. But I'm like, let me just try to do my job, you know, whatever. And then as I'm trying to help her with the speaker, I don't know if you're hearing the thing, but I was telling her we could look at reviews online. She bends down to point at something and I see her bottom of her dress is cut. And I just see her entire fucking ass. Keep in mind, side note, I am gay. I am gay. Wrong tree in the wrong neighborhood. This has got to be one of the worst things I've seen on social media. This woman goes to this man's work so she can bend over and intentionally reveal herself to him to get him to look, film it without his consent, then post it to advertise her uncensored OnlyFans content. The only reason this man knows this video exists is because somebody came into his work and recognized him as the pervert that wanted that woman on OnlyFans. This man works three jobs to try and make ends meet, and you want to put that in jeopardy for what? So you can make more money on OnlyFans? Seriously? So Pretty Yana, I don't know the terms of service for OnlyFans, but I have to believe that this violates their content policy. And I hope they kick your ass off. You need to do better. Mind your own business. So yeah, it's pretty shocking to be honest. And um, I read a comment that says, our culture is collapsing. I miss the world without the internet. To be honest, when you see shit like this, you have to agree. She basically was willing to ruin his life for a bit of clout. I think he's also talking about suing her. Everyone's saying take a lawsuit out, which will be hilarious because all that money she has made off OnlyFans, she may then have to pay it to him, which would be the best justice ever. Anyway, she did find out about this and this is her response. Hey besties, update, the dumb fucking cunt has responded and her response could not have been worse. He got 5.6 million views. He is pissed about nothing. Shut the fuck up, take the free clout, and get you some money. You came into my job and harassed me, okay? You ain't, you ain't gonna sit here and tell me how I am, I am and I'm not gonna fucking feel about what you did, okay? Let's, let's, clear, let's clarify that right now. Regardless of all that, I am still trying to speak out against what you did because you are normalizing it and it is not okay. And you not feeling any remorse about it even after I talked about that is crazy. Anyway, instead of just saying sorry, <laughs> that would have been too easy, right? She then went on to say, I have never been the type to explain shit, but ain't no white piece of shit finna try me. So she's a racist as well. Good to know. And then she said she doesn't do well with the internet bullshit. That's why she doesn't address shit on here. Basically just taking no accountability. So she thinks she done nothing wrong, but someone here said, so flashing someone isn't sexual harassment. Please, if the roles were reversed, they would be on an offenders list. And then Joey Swell said, this is absolutely not okay. OnlyFans should kick her off the platform for doing this. There has to be some content policy she violated. Hopefully she gets banned, which will be hilarious because I'm willing to bet this is her, this is probably her only form of income. So if she gets banned, get ready for her to come out and play victim. I had told them like before, like I'm gonna have a threesome with both of y'all one day. Ow! Dude! What the fuck? Like, no fucking way. <laughs> I Stop. swear to God. <laughs> If I ain't never talk, look. Drop the fucking mic. Stop playing. Get I away. swear. Like, if they ain't, if I ain't never said it before, they hear me now. I'm telling you. So you would you would be with two I'd niggas at once? I'd be with both of them. Both yeah, because I got kids. Because your by, relationship yeah. with them, yeah. yeah. That's fucking crazy. So would you be like in a happy family structure with them? On some policy? They, I, I'm trying to. Do you prefer chivalry or do you prefer equality? Equality. What about you? Equality. What about yourself? Equality. Okay, so you said you're in a relationship, right? Mm hmm Who paid for the first date? Who paid for him? Yeah. Who paid for the second date? It's been a while. But what you think? Probably him. Interesting. Who paid for the third date, if you got a thing? Probably Did him. I, okay, that's not equality. You've used my logic against me. How long would you take care of your man if he couldn't work anymore? Mm. I'm be honest. Like six months. Six months? Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, that's not equality. What about you, GJ? I've done that before, so, oh, you so broke I'd up say with like, dude. well, yeah. So I'd say maybe like three months on it. Three months. And what about you? I say a year. Right. The ladies that said that you prefer equality over chivalry, your answers contradicted yourselves. And the fact that I have a timeline on it, that means that it's not equal because men, it's in our nature to provide for a woman forever. So even though you say one thing, which is like a politically correct answer, because the media right now is ruled by the. So basically, <laughs> just um, some independent 
women who want men to provide for for them basically yeah you know what i've come to learn as i've sort of been making more and more of these videos is a lot of these women this isn't all women but a lot of women on the internet they really haven't got a clue about what they want they just do not have a clue so anyway that's the end of the video that's enough of that shit today if you got this far thanks for watching um like share subscribe all of that and i'll see you on the next one peace Thank you.